Good morning everyone, Happy New Year and welcome to my channel. Today is the 2nd of January 2022. I'm off work until the 10th of January and over Christmas something happened. I lost my flying mojo. Don't ask me why, I don't know. The weather's been pretty bad but I haven't really been making the effort to get out. No getting up early mornings and I think I was just knackered from 2021 and having stopped, i.e. stopped work, decided to do not much throughout Christmas. It struck me I'm absolutely exhausted. I haven't built, I haven't flown, I haven't prepared my batteries. I just left it all alone. I'm feeling slightly better today so I thought I'd get on and do this unboxing. Here's a box! Yeah, let's get into it. Let's see what we've got. I've been thinking about getting this for a long, long, long time. But my logic was, well, I've already got some that look like it. And they probably fly the same. Let's see what it is. It's a Arrows Hobby. 1.8 metre. Husky. This came to me second hand. So I got it for a good price. It was an unwanted gift, believe it or not. So I grabbed it. Let's take a look at some of the specifications. It's a 1.8 metre wingspan, 750 kV motor, doesn't mean anything to me. 45 amp speed controller, six 17 gram servos, six channel radio, central gravity, 80, 90 millimetres from the leading edge. Jolly good prop size. Now it's a 13 times 7.5. So the very first job I'll do after making this video is to go online and see if I can pick up a master air screw 12 times 7.5 or 12 times 7 three blade. If not, I'll try it on the two blade and see how it performs. Recommended battery 4S, they are 14.8 volts, 2200 or 2600. This came, I believe, with at least one battery included in the price. Now I've just turned it around to cut these pieces of tape so I can get into it and look what I found tucked away at the bottom over there looks like a battery and it is look at that that is an overlander overlander is a company here in the United Kingdom makes lots of batteries nearly 3000 milliamp per hour 14.84 s with a 35 C discharge and this is how new this thing is hasn't even been out of the packet Look at that, it's got an XT60 on it. Yes, sir. That's brilliant. Let's get this put to one side, then we'll take a look at the parts. Right, well, it's very neatly packed. Still, uh, for a second hand aircraft. But basically, no paint here. Where it's moulded, lovely smooth moulding. Oh my god. Sorry for not being very good at this today. Uh, lovely nice big wing, ball link joints, servo, servo horn, tape covering up most of the wiring, not all of it. Plug-in struts, exactly the same as the cub, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's based on the cub. The wing's a bit different, this wing's got this this wing has a concave curve there. It's got nav light here on the end and it's also got landing lights on the front. Very nice. Very nice. Painted red. It is paint. It's not a decal. This part is a decal. And it's got big ailerons and big flaps. I love the moulding and it moulds the ribs into this. Plastic piece here. Looks like you have a screw go up through there, the screw go up through there, carbon rod through there, and a screw through there. Oh well that's one wing. Here's our second wing. Exactly the same. Really nice. Don't 
they are foam hinges on both wings. And they're also laminated, and I know this stuff's made by FMS. Very nice, very nice wing indeed. Look at that. It's got these little vortex generators already in it. I just realised this comes in two parts. Husky manual, part listings, same old stuff. How to fit the undercarriage, how to screw it in, how to fit the wings, how to screw them in, how to fit the tailplane, how to fit the rudder and fin, how to screw them in. Connections, little aerials, fitting your prop, channel assignments, five spare because that's for your gear, and you've got six for flaps. This has no stabiliser in it, but it doesn't need one. There are your movements, you can see those, high, low, I always stick a medium in, set that up, easy to do, there's your centre of gravity, 80 to 90 on a straight line back from the leading edge, it's easy peasy. I have to be honest, one of the things that attracted me to this particular plane is the colouring. Look at that tail. Aviat aircraft husky ball link horn this is all plastic molded this is plastic molding screws into brass which again it's fms isn't it so what do you expect lovely colors lovely quality foam hinges they are i don't know i would i would hesitate to say they're laminated they're probably not they're pretty free. Well, that looks beautiful. This is the nose cone. It's quite pointy. That's for the two blade prop. And like FMS, they have the nut shaped locking mechanism that goes onto the motor shaft. These are a bane in my life. And the reason for that is when you go to a three blade prop, it's really hard to get a spinner that will fit on a three blade prop that has this type of connection. In fact, I'd say it's almost impossible. So I end up using that. Therefore, I've got to get a three blade cone for the spinner that fits this by measuring it across. It does work, but sometimes it has to go on top of that. Well, that's going to slice you the bits if it gets the chance. Look at that. That is a big prop. That's my forearm. Flipping neck. Oh, I do love this black colour. Look at that. Painted, the whole thing is paint. And it's hinged. Easy to go. Ball link, as I said. No paint on the ball, on the ball link. That's another good plus in my book. Do with the spray there, couldn't it? And there, just to finish it off. That's pretty good. I have to do this. That keys in like that. Look at that tail plane. Beautiful. Look at this. Well, that front will be sprayed up, so that's all black in there. Lovely motor. It's got lines all over it. Look at this, they've even moulded a grill in there. That's a shame, we could have had a landing light in there. Maybe I can put one in. Single exhaust, phony of course. Let's go down the side. Painted windows. I do like the way the black's in here. And they've got rivets on it. Yeah, love the colour scheme. Big markings down here. We get to the ends. 
Here's the brass screwing connectors. Servos, one's going to be for the rudder, one's going to be for the elevator. That's your rear wheel. It's got these little C clips on it, so I'm going to have to put some glue on that. Take a look on the underside. Air vents. Goes in, has to come out. Oh, here you go, here's your undercarriage. Looks like it's designed for floats as well. It'll be interesting to see if the FMS floats fit. I don't know. But that's where the undercarriage will go. This is where your wing supports go in. Here you can see the brass threads for the wings plug in there and this is the tiny little hole that gives you all the aggro when connecting the wings up obviously they've got one on both sides let's see what's inside here okay nice hatch like this bit it's got the plastic bit here so that means you can put it on and push it down there it is simple it's that easy okay big interior my god it's like the Royal Albert Hall in there look at that Two sets of Velcro straps, Velcro for the battery, and then you stick everything else wherever you want it. Yeah, very nice. Sorry, while we're looking at this, there it is, that's the XT60 connector, which is fine. It's a nice wooden board here as well for mounting stuff on. So I think my receiver's gonna go back here somewhere yeah lovely wow look at that let's see if we can put that across there mmm nice Oh, we've got a goodie bag full of nuts and bolts and they're all hex driven. There's a prop, prop bolt. Ski cover when you put the wiring on for your skis. Some plastic aerials, I never engage these, I never put them on because they just catch and break off. And the Y leads have the connectors on that lock. Whether I use them or not, I don't know. It depends what solution I come up in addressing this little hole here. Yeah, nice. Wow. That's a substantial piece of kit. Look at that. It's not sprung, it's just solid, solid foam wheels, but I fly off grass so it doesn't matter. This is a big plastic, which is quite nice. Yeah, wow. Look at those. Yeah, so there it is, I got a Husky. I finally gave in. But they say, come on down, the price is right. And it was right, it was super. Plus I've got an Overlander battery thrown in. And there we have it, we have the Husky. Don't know if you noticed it, no carbon spa. I'm not particularly concerned, because the worst case scenario is I can order myself a carbon spa. But it should have had one, so I will contact the seller and find out what's going on. What I'm hoping is that they've got the spa and they'll just post it on to me. Okay, so that's it everyone. Thanks for watching, stay safe, stay well. I hope you'll come and join me on another video. I hope I'll get my mojo back pretty damn soon. Cheers.